Welcome to the review sheet for CFA number four. This is review number one. Sometimes when we complete a problem, we don't read the text very carefully. So as you go through these five problems, make sure you read exactly what is needed. Let's take a closer look at problem number one. Problem number one states, Sarah purchased a shirt that was originally $30. The shirt was on sale for 40% off. How much was the discount? Now there's a few key things in here. When they ask for how much, they're talking about a dollar amount, and they want to know the discount or the amount that was saved. So as you go through this problem, you need to find the dollar amount associated with the savings and not the sale price. Let's start by drawing a tape diagram. Draw a detailed tape diagram with the $30 total at the bottom. And savings is at a rate of 40% and sale price, well, that's the other side of the tape diagram, but it's not even needed. Take a moment and set up this detailed tape diagram. Remember, we want to know how much was saved in dollars. So we're going to use the rate of 0 0.40. R times T equals P. 0 0.40 times $30 equals P. So as we multiply, we see that we save $12. The answer to this question is $12. Now let's take a look at question number two. Luce bought a pair of jeans that usually costs $40. He has a coupon for 25% off. What is the sale price of the jeans? This time, we are looking for sale price. This is a markdown, so we're going to draw our tape diagram. The entire tape diagram is $40, which is 100% of the cost. But we're going to break that into parts. The part called savings, or the part you save, and the part called sale price, that's the portion you're going to spend. We know we save 25%, that's our discount rate, so we're going to be spending at a rate of 75%, or scoop scoop 0.75. So now it's time to calculate the sale price because that is what we're looking for. Use your formula R times T equals P. Use the rate associated with sale price and use the total for the bar. Show your work and use your calculator. Find the sale price. And when you're done, write it on the line. When you're ready, move on to problem number three. For problem number three, it states, Supercuts charges $14 for a haircut. This Saturday, the first 10 customers get 20% off a haircut. How much, so we're looking for in dollars, will one of the first 10 customers pay? In other words, how much 
is the haircut going to cost after the discount has been applied? So again, we're going to draw a tape diagram and we know the regular haircut is $14. That's 100%. And when we present the 20% off, that's the portion you're going to save on the haircut. However, the haircut or the cost of the haircut is going to be 80% of the original amount. When we convert that to a decimal, it's 80 hundredths. That's the rate you're going to use in the formula, and this is the total. R times T equals P. Using the three-step process, calculate the cost of a haircut. When you're done, write your final answer on the line. Let's look at problem number four. In problem number four, it states, a Rawlings Youth Baseball Glove costs $35. The sales tax rate is 7%. How much sales tax will you pay? How much? We certainly want a dollar amount, but we only want the tax. We don't know, we don't want the final cost with the tax and the glove together. We just want the tax. So start by drawing a tape diagram. We know that the total cost of the glove is $35. Now that's 100% of the cost. But tax is an add-on. And tax comes in at 7%. We can kind of stop here because this is the rate we're going to use. If you wanted to find the entire cost, you would certainly add up the percentage rates and come up with 107 percent total but in this case we just want to find the amount of money that we are going to be charged for the tax so let's convert this to a decimal 0 0.07 seven cents of every dollar and use our formula r times t equals p you're going to put that rate into the formula and use the total that you've been given to calculate just the sales tax. When you're ready, write your final answer on the line. And lastly, let's take a look at problem number five. Naya wants to buy a dress for graduation. The dress she wants costs $25. How much, of course that's a dollar amount, will she pay including the 8% tax? In this case, they want the final cost. Let's start by drawing a detailed tape diagram. Let's start with a basic cost bar. The cost is $25, which is 100%. And we know tax is added on. It's a markup. So we're going to add an 8% tax. 100% plus 8% gives us 108%. That is the cost plus the tax added on that, of course, is your final cost. And that's what they're looking for. So we're going to convert this rate to a decimal and use it in the formula to find the final cost in dollars. Start with your formula, R times T equals P. We're going to use the rate 1.08.
go ahead, use your formula, and calculate the total cost, including tax. When you've come up with the answer, write it on the line. When you're done, you can check your work against the answer key. This concludes review number one.